Welcome back to Breakout Boxing. I'm here with Pat Typhlusion and Chapel for their fight on February 24th, Vought 5 versus Rand, the rematch, only on Breakout Boxing. Hello, guys. How are you guys doing today? You want to go first? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing quite well. I uh, got a new SIM card for my phone, but it's not working. Nightmare. Um, but yeah, no, I'm feeling all right. Yeah. How are you doing, Pat? I'm feeling well prepared. I'm uh, actually really excited that Chapel is here. He came a long way. Um, takes balls to do that. I'm ready for a fucking good fight. He's tall. We all know that the last time I fought a tall fighter didn't go well so well. Um, but, uh, you know, it is. Pat's high fusion, baby. Can't ever doubt me. And uh, he's ready for a good fight. I'm ready for a good fight. It's going to be a war. U.S. versus U.K., baby. Let's go. Yeah. U.S. versus U.K. Chap, I want to go to you first. How has your training camp been for this fight? Yeah, I mean, uh, in comparison to my last one, you know, didn't have one that time. Come in, um, got done in, and that, that was that. So... When this fight was offered to me, I knew I couldn't take this one lightly. Um, contacted a friend who's had a few um, semi-pro, I believe. And um, yeah, got into camp with him. Um, went through the motions, you know, did everything the proper way, like an amateur would. And um, yeah, it felt good, you know. So. Same question to you, Pat. How was training camp built for this fight? Training camp's been... Fucking awesome. We all know mm -hmm. that uh, the last camp that I didn't really have a camp like him. Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of a funny comparison. Um, I trained my ass off for the fucking Shogun fight. I really learned like the differences in what, what to do and what not to do for mm -hmm. a training camp. And I knew that I would carry it into my next one. And he said that he's been preparing two months before he even got the fight with me. So that means I got to pick up. I had some holiday weight that I need to drop. Went from 185 to 174, baby. Ladies, look out after the fight because you know on, I'm guys. coming to the clubs. I'm the close, I know. Let's, let's go, let's go. Come on. And you know, I'm training with uh, Jose. You know what I mean? When he says light sparring, he means hard. I got Rand, Ant, fucking Will Rodriguez, Jalen Rodriguez. We got the whole stack. Got the whole Dagestan boys. But uh, the difference is this time is I put the work in myself. I didn't have Jose. I didn't have anybody else waking me up. To go on runs and to have anybody telling me to, you know, have a different diet or anything. That was all me. Because, you know, I want to change my life for the better. And I wanted to be as best prepared because mm -hmm. if someone's coming across the pond to fight me, they aren't going to be getting a uh, on the word type performance. They deserve the best. And you guys are going to get the best Pat Side Flusion you have mm -hmm. ever fucking seen, baby, on February 24th. Yes, sir. PM. Okay. Pat, yeah. what do you make of your opponent? He flies across the world to get here. Um, just to fight you. Yeah. I'm very flattered, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's making me blush. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, I respect Chapel a lot. I think that, you know, I, I got to respect the, the jab. I got to respect how tall he is. And also, he's a funny fucking dude, man. We've had a really fun buildup. I think we've made the audience laugh, um, especially on U.S. versus U.K. And um, I think before a lot of this shit happens later on in the year with U.S. versus U.K., as we've seen from um, DKM Rising Star, shout out to them. Um, there's going to be a lot of U.S. versus U.K., so might as well start off with a little friendly little rivalry, punch each other in the face, and see who's the best. So, okay, cool. I kind of fancy him, as uh, the Brits would say. All right. Chapel, same question to you. What do you make of Pat Typhlusion? You flew across the Atlantic to get here. Yeah. We're in his hometown. Yeah. What do you make of him? What do I make of him? Um, yeah, no, I mean, sound guy. He's really, he's, he's the person that started all of this. Like, if we're being honest, this is the, the guy that started this for the guys in the UK and for all of you here, really, okay? Um, before this scene even really started, he's in his back garden fighting and, you know, can't say much about that uh, performance, but, you know, it was a while ago now. Um, always calling out Mike Malak and he, he, yeah, like I said, he started the scene, really. Um, but, you know, back then, uh, obviously, uh, we've gone over this story so many times, you know. We have gone over this story so many times. I still don't quite know what happened, really. So, you showed up to Boston. I came back from my training room fight. I was preparing for no, my No, no, the first fight. time I pulled up, that was before the training room fight. That was fight. before the there. training room yeah. fight. Yeah, honestly, I was probably making bread, making money, working at Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. And uh, to be honest with you, I had a lot going on at that time. Yeah. And I'll take the L on that. But that's why we're here. That's why I got you here. So that we can actually okay. do this thing properly instead of in my back garden. Yeah, as fair enough. Would say. But yeah, so, like, like I say, you know, what I make of him, he's experienced, you know, he's a brawler. Um, something that I've had to train for, you know. Luckily, we have had, I've got a lot of footage of him. Um, mm -hmm. So that's definitely helped us with, um, you know, our camp and to know mm -hmm. what we need to work on and what we need to defend against. Um, 
No, I like him. Nice guy. Um, I think after this, I don't think he drinks, but I'm sure we can, you know, have a couple of vapes. Five percent, get in. Five percent. Five percent vapes. And... You know what I mean? It's legal here. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. It is yeah. legal. Um, yeah. No, I like him. He's a cool guy. Yeah. Okay. Patrick. Yes. What would you say your biggest advantage going into this fight is? I think my biggest advantage is not only my um, my experience, but also my heart and determination, baby. You know, it's Pat's I Flusion. That's mm-hmm. what we all about. If shit gets heavy and I feel like I'm getting hit too hard, <coughs> we like a Super Saiyan in this bitch. We about to go like a Zenkai boost, almost, as the nerds would say. You know what I mean? I'm ready to go. And um, I believe that my heart and determination carries me throughout every single fight. And I don't think that it will stop. And when that fire lights out... I'll be done with boxing, but definitely got a good few years in this left. So this is a good uh, fight to mark the halfway point in my career. Cool. Same question to you, Chapel. What do you think your biggest advantage going to this fight is? Well, I'm, I'm visibly quite taller. I think we've all seen that. Um, got some longer arms as well. I think naturally I'm more athletic than he is. You know, he's lost a lot of weight and like I said, fair play to him. Um but also, there's something about a Brit that you just can't, you, we don't know what it is. There's something inside of us, that grit and determination that the Americans, no offense guys, there's fucking 20 of them here, you know, but no offense, but you guys don't have that grit and determination. The, you look at, you know, what the Brits did in the, in the Falklands uh, against Argentina, you know, those 90 miles that they walked in three days with all that weight on their back, that grit and determination is what carried them, not, not anything else, you know? Um, and I think that's what I want. Uh, that's the, I want it more than you. And I think I'm going to prove that as well. We'll see. We'll absolutely see. Oh, we shall, yeah. Because two days away. <laughs> you say something about the Brits. I, I, don't de- I don't deny the fact that we are rooted in that blood. The Brits mm. came over here. You tried to take over our country, but we sent you back on your ships. Back over across the country. And I'm doing this for the hard-working 9 to 5 women, for the policemen, for the firefighters. For the first responders, for every single motherfucker that is working in the United States of America and beyond and beginning my worldwide tour as Pat Typhlusion. I do believe, I do want this more than you, but I do believe that you believe, you think, you think that you want this more than Pat Typhlusion, but Pat Typhlusion knows that he wants this more than anything. I am on my road to the top, I have places that I want to be, and I believe you'll get there, my friend, but you might have to put in the hours, like I did. Okay, I mean like... Yeah, fair enough. He's, he's letting out a lot of energy right now. That's what it is. Nice plug. What can I say? I'm a very energetic guy. Okay, I asked you guys about your biggest advantages. And throughout this whole face-to-face, you've been talking about your past fights, your past fights. I'm going to start with you, Chapel, and then we'll go to you, Pat. Yeah. What do you make of Pat Typhlusion's, um past fights? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, I mean, um, we'll start off with the most recent Juan. Um, coming that without you know any proper training. Um, roughed him up, you know. Came out a little bit bloody, but got the win. Got the job done. Blood don't win fights, Juan. Yeah, just true. You know. um, before that, we had the... Was that Pepper Puppy before? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it like... I don't know I don't know if he's training with um, a lot of tall people. Uh, other people are quite tall, in fairness. Ran's a little bit taller, but he's not, you know, the tallest person I've met, to be honest. Um, but no, he's training with um, some good people. Uh, I think he's definitely improved from those previous fights. Um... But yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. He's different to what he was then. You know, he's always getting better. We've seen that. He is always getting better. He's always improving, always getting smarter in the ring. So um, we're, we're prepared for the, you know, best part, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same question you, Pat. Well, to be honest, I think Chapel can say this for everyone. He didn't look very good in his first performance. But you want to know what? I don't give a fuck. Because he's coming in. He's putting the hours in the fucking gym. Okay, it's been a year since that fucking fight. We're going to see a whole new chapel, just we're going to see a whole new Pat Thai Flusion. So I am ready to fucking bring it. I don't care if he sucked a fucking year ago, because clearly he's saying he doesn't suck anymore. So let's see if he's right, because I think he's right about that. I don't, think he, I don't think you're trash. I don't think you suck. I don't think you're the same person as in that last fight. And that's why I train and put the hours in the fucking gym, slash in my basement and out on the, radio, and out on the rodeo in my neighborhood. But yeah. I don't okay. think he's trash. And I, I, I know there's that, that one performance, but that's it. Mm-hmm. Can I get you guys' final predictions? We'll go with you, Pat, and then we'll go with you, Chapel. To be honest with you, I don't know what's going to happen in this fight. I do want to go for a stoppage to prove to mm-hmm. myself to something like that. I do think that with the game plan that I have come up with, I believe I'm going to execute it, and I believe I'm going to do it great. But regardless, 
It's going to be a three-round war, and me and him have a personal agreement in the last 30 seconds of the last round. If we survive that whole time, we drop the technique, and we go bar for bar, fist for fist, and we let it all in the ring for the U.S. and the U.K. So I want to get a reshake on that because if he's training for a brawl, I'm ready for a brawl, and if we get there, we've earned that. Mm-hmm. So you want to put a handshake on that? Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's go. Chapel, your predictions? Uh, well, unfortunately, we didn't uh, re-agree that 50 rounds, um, so we are still stuck with the three. Um, don't think it's going to be enough to get him out. Um, if the opportunity arises, I'll go for it. But, um, you know, I'm going to fight smart. Um, I think I'll get the decision. Um, yeah, simple as really. I think it's going to take a lot if I want to take him out early. It's going to take a lot to even knock him down. You know, he's a strong guy, but, yeah, I think decision. Okay, okay. Final word, Chapel. What is it? You ready? Yeah? All right. Three, two, one. Abosh! Patrick, final words? Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Typhlusion has a speech for you. I am coming. Worcester, Massachusetts, February 24th. I am coming for Chapel's head and body. I'm going to be breaking it down like... I I don't know what I'm going to say right there, but anyways... Stay tuned, February 24th, Pad Thai Fusion, baby. The energy is too massive. My brain is running faster than my mouth right now. I am so excited to fight. I will see you February 4th, Chapel. And it's Pad Thai Fusion, baby. Never doubt me. Can I get one? Never doubt me, baby. Let's go. Come on, guys. Never doubt me. Never doubt me. Never doubt me. Never doubt me. Never doubt me.